next chapter is sphere the last topic last chapter of this uh, paper the definition of sphere the sphere is the locus of point whose distance from fixed point is constant so this is the locus sphere is the locus of point whose distance from fixed point is constant and the constant distance is called radius of that sphere so there are different forms of equation of spheres the first form is general form that is find the equation of sphere in general form so let uh, uh, c abc be center of the sphere and uh, let p x y z be any point on the sphere then cp is the radius of the sphere suppose cp is r we denote the radius of the sphere suppose r then and what is cp the distance between c and p by using distance formula is what root x minus a bracket square plus y minus b bracket square plus z minus c bracket square and e is equal to r so squaring both sides what do we have x minus a bracket square plus y minus b bracket square plus z minus c bracket square is equal to r square this is called the center radius form or is called general form of the equation of sphere so cp is equal to r the radius of the sphere suppose it is r so cp is the radius and cp by using distance formula is root x minus a bracket square plus y minus b bracket square plus z minus c bracket square and squaring both sides we have this obviously if the center is 0 0 0 then uh, equation of sphere is what the cp is what x minus 0 bracket square plus y minus 0 bracket square plus z minus 0 bracket square is equal to r means x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r square that is substitute a b c as 0 so this is the equation of sphere in standard form that is whose center is 0 0 0 center of the sphere is 0 0 0 so if we simplify this equation general equation then what we have square of this bracket is x square minus 2 ax plus a square square of this bracket y square minus 2 by plus b square and square of this bracket is equal Minus r square. If the r square to LHS is equal to zero, then we have the equation of the form x square plus y square plus z square minus two ax minus two by minus two zc two uh, cj uh, plus x square plus b square plus c square minus r square is equal to zero. <coughs> And if we denote this by using this x square plus y square plus z square plus two ux plus two by plus two w z plus d is equal to zero. Obviously. What is u? U is minus a. V is minus b because two v is minus two b means v is minus b. Two w is minus two c means w is minus c. And d is what? A square plus b square plus c square minus r square is uh, d. And then and what is the center of this sphere? This is the simplification of this uh, equation. So center of the sphere is uh, a b c. And in new notation, the center is what a is minus u, b is minus v, and c is minus w. And therefore, the center is what minus u minus v minus w is the center of the sphere. And what is the radius of the sphere? The radius of the sphere in old notation is r. So, what is the value of r? If you find r from this equation, then r. If we shift the r square in uh, RHS and d on RHS, then we have r square is what? A square plus b square plus c square minus d, and therefore, uh, what is value of r? R is root e square plus b square uh, a square plus b square plus c square minus d. But a is u, uh, a is minus u, so its square is u square. B is minus v, its square is v square. C is minus w, so its square is w square minus d. And so. In new notation, if the this is uh, the general form of the equation of sphere, that is, what is the general form? X square plus y square plus z square plus two u x plus two v y plus two w z plus d is equal to zero. And if this is the uh, general form of the equation of sphere, then its center is what? Minus u minus v minus w in round bracket, right? Uh, minus u comma minus v comma minus w. And the radius of the sphere is what root u square plus v square plus w square minus d. Any here, if we observe the coefficient of x square, y square, and z square 
all are one so in the general equation the coefficient or the in the equation of sphere the coefficient of x square y square and z square are all equal or equal to one so the next question is find the uh, this is important question 95% probability two marks find the center and radius of the sphere so uh, the e equation of sphere given in the general form x square plus y square plus z square minus 4x plus 6y plus 10z plus 2 is equal to 0 and this is the another sphere equation of sphere 4x square plus 4y square plus 4z square minus 4x plus 4y minus 8z minus 10 is equal to 0 so uh, the answer of second question first is for assignment dividing by 4 dividing by 4 to equation number 2 and that's why it's uh, converted to general form that x square plus y square plus z square uh, 4 by 4 is 1 minus 4 by uh, uh, 4 is minus 4 minus 1 x minus 1 x plus 1 y minus 2 z minus 5 by 2 10 by 4 means 5 by 2 and then compare this equation with write the sentence then compare with this equation with x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 ux plus 2 vy plus 2 wz plus d is equal to 0 what do we get we get 2u is minus 1 2u is minus 1 therefore u is minus half 2v is plus 1 therefore v is half and 2w is 2w is uh, minus 2 right 2w is minus 2 don't write 8, it is minus 2. And therefore, W is what? W is minus 1. So, right here, minus 1. So, if compare this equation with x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2ux, 2vy plus 2wz minus uh, plus d is equal to 0. And so, we have uh, this W is uh, wrong here. So, write 2w as minus 2. So W is what? Minus 1. And D is, the value of D is minus 5 by 2, right? D as a minus 5 by 2. And therefore, the center of the sphere is what? Minus U, minus V, minus W. This is the formula. So minus half become plus half. So U is minus half. So this becomes plus half. Then V is what? Minus uh, plus 1 half. So minus V becomes minus 1 half. And this is the value is what is minus 1 w is minus 1 correct correction is here right 2 w as minus 2 so w is minus 1 and so right here plus 1 as the third coordinate of the center plus 1 because minus w means plus 1 and the radius is what formula is root u square plus v square plus w square minus d so right minus half square because u is minus half plus 1 half v is 1 half square Plus, you write minus 1 square, right, in bracket, minus 1 square, minus d. So, already d is minus 5 by 2. So, right here, plus 5 by 2, right here, plus 5 by 2. So, correction is uh, uh, at this place, plus 5 by 2. And then, calculate it, we have the uh, radius of the sphere. So, next question is, find the equation of sphere whose center is 2 minus 3 minus 1 and radius is 4. So if the center is ABC, the center is ABC and radius is R, then this is the equation of the sphere. X minus A bracket square plus Y minus B bracket square plus Z minus C bracket square is equal to R square. And therefore the equation of this uh, sphere having center 2 minus 3 minus 1 and radius 4 is what? X minus 2 plus uh, X minus 2 bracket square plus Y minus minus 3 means Y plus 3 bracket square plus z minus minus 1 means plus 1 bracket square is equal to 4 square radius square and that is the simplification is what x square minus 4x plus 4 in the square of this bracket and the square of this bracket is x 4 square is 16 and then after simplification we have x square plus y square plus z square minus 4x then plus 6y minus 2z and the constant term is uh, minus 2 because 4 plus uh, 1 is 5 plus 9 is uh, 14 and uh, this uh, 16 shifted to LHS, it become minus 16, 14 minus 16 becomes minus 4. So for practice, take this problem as a uh, problem in this form, that is find the center and radius of this sphere. So center of this sphere is this and the radius is 4. Show that the two spheres, this 
and these are uh, uh, the two spheres touches each other and find their point of contact. What we are to show? We are given the two spheres x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x minus 6y minus 15 is equal to 0 and another is what? 5x square plus 5y square plus 5z square minus 10x plus 25y. Uh, 42x, 42z plus 107 is equal to 0. Touches means touches each other and find their point of contact. That is where to show this. The two spheres touches each other. And how we can show this uh, two spheres touches each other? Uh, if this, uh, suppose C1 is the radius of the first sphere and C2 is the radius of the second sphere. Uh, not radius, center of the first sphere, C1 is center of first sphere and the C2 is the center of the second sphere and suppose R1 is the radius of first sphere and R2 is the radius of second sphere. Then find center and radius of these two spheres by using this procedure. That is compare the, both the equation with uh, x square plus y square plus z square minus uh, plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus d is equal to 0 and find the center and radius of the first sphere and uh, denote the uh, center of the first sphere by notation C1, radius of the first sphere by R1 and then denote the center of the second sphere by C2 and radius of the second sphere by R2, okay. And then how we can show, how we can uh, say that uh, these two spheres touches each other if this is happened, that is, they, these two uh, spheres such as each other means they uh, intersect in only one point to each other. Then we say the sphere touches each other. So when this happens, if the distance between C1 and C2, that is the distance between their centers, is equal to R1 plus R2, addition of their radius. That is, show this C1, C2, distance between C1 and C2 means C1, C2 is equal to R1 plus R2. So that is find C1, C2, first find C1, C2, their coordinates, and then find by distance formula, find the by using distance formula, find the distance between C1 and C2, that is root, uh, in root of the formula, the distance formula. And then uh, find the addition of R1 and L2. And if these two are same, that is, note that last sentence C1, C2 is equal to R1 plus R2 and therefore the two spheres touches each other. And how we can find their point of contact? Suppose P, X, X, Y, Z be the point of contact. Then by using section formula, X is what? X is uh, by using section formula, find X, Y and Z. That is this, uh, 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 X, uh, this, uh, this uh, suppose C2 is 2, C1 is 1, then uh, this ratio as 2 as 2, 1. This point divides to this uh, C1, C2, uh, this distance in a ratio 2 as to 1, two, or 2 as to 3. So, by using section formula, find the point of contact. And the point of contact is 1 minus 1 minus 3. So, I will share the uh, answer of this problem uh, through WhatsApp with you. Also, you try to solve this example. That is, uh, find their centers find the radius of these two spheres and show C1, C2 is equal to R1 plus R2. And then we say the two spheres that is each other. Okay. Then next example is find the equation of sphere passing through four points. The four points are given. 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 0, 2. Then 0, 3, minus 1, 2, 1, minus 3. And we have to find the equation of sphere passing through these four points. Let the required equation of sphere is uh, B, x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus d is equal to z. Suppose equation number star or 1. Then since 1 passes through these 4 points, what do we have? All these 4 points satisfy this equation. That is this 1, 1, 1 satisfies this equation means substitute x, y, z as 1, 1, 1. What we have? 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square plus 2u1 plus 2v1 plus 2wz into 2w1 plus d is equal to 0. That is, we have the equation 2u plus 2v plus 2w plus d is equal to minus 3. This is suppose equation number 2. And so, the sphere passes through this point means this point satisfies this equation. That is, substitute x as minus 1, y as 0, and z as 2. We have this equation. Minus 2u plus 4w plus d is equal to 5. Okay? Then, this 0, 3, minus 1 also 
uh, lies on the sphere or the sphere passes through this point means also this point also satisfies this this equation that is substitute x at 0 y is 3 z is minus 1 in this equation we have this equation 6v minus 2w plus b is equal to minus 10 suppose equation number 4 and also this uh, sphere passes through this point 2 1 minus 3 so what we have again we have substitute x as the 2 y as the 1 and z as minus 3 in this equation we have this equation 4u plus 2b minus 6w plus b is equal to 40 and we have this equation 2 3 4 5 we have four equations and uh, we there are four unknowns what are that u v w and d these are four unknowns so there are four equations and four unknowns solving this equation number 2 3 4 5 right here 2 3 4 and 5 for u v w and d solve this equation by using cost elimination method or any another method so here the uh, Gauss elimination method of first term that uh, first consider the augmented matrix. Augmented matrix means what? Uh, write the coefficient of u, v, w, and d in first row and constant coefficient that is 2, 2, 2, and plus 1 and minus 3. Then from equation 3, write the coefficient of u, v, w. So u coefficient is minus 2. There is no v term, so its coefficient is 0. w coefficient of w is 4. Uh, coefficient of d is 1 and is equal to minus 5 here yes, i think minus 5 so this 4 plus 1 is 5 and then it, after shifting it it is become minus 5 right here minus 5 then the third row is 6 uh, not 6 0 coefficient of a u is 0 then coefficient of v is 6 coefficient of w is minus 2 coefficient of d is 1 and the constant coefficient uh, is what minus 10 then uh, uh, from equation number 5, write the position of u, v, w, and d and is equal to constant term. And then convert this matrix to echelon form. So first, uh, dividing by 2 to first row, 1 half r1, we have this. That is, make this element as 1. So after dividing by 2, we have this. Then uh, we have to convert these elements, these two elements, Already this is 0, so we have to convert this minus 2 and 4 to 0. So there are operations uh, R2 plus 2 R1, R2 plus 2 R1. And R4 minus 4 R1. Uh, perform these uh, two operations at a time or separately. So R2 minus 2 R1 gives what? That is multiply the equation 1 by 2, uh, multiply the row 1 by 2 and add in second row so minus 2 plus 2 0 then uh, 2 plus 0 is 2 then 2 plus 4 is 6 then 1 plus 1 is 2 and then multiply by this is by 2 so it become minus 3 and minus 5 become minus 8 so second third row and fourth row as it is then uh, reduce this element to 0 4 so for that application is r4 minus 4 r1 r4 that is change in the fourth row so right first r4 minus 4 r1 so what do we have? First row as it is, second as it is, third as it is, a change in fourth row. So minus 4 plus 4, 0. Minus 4 plus 2 become minus 2. Minus 4 minus 6 become minus 10. Then minus 4 into 1 half is minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. And then minus uh, 4 means this become minus 6 minus 14 minus uh, plus 6 minus 14 is minus 8. Then uh, reduce this element to, to 1. So for that, the application is uh, 1 half transformation is 1 half R2. 1 half R2. So multiply by second row by 1 half. So we have this uh, 1. Then there is 3, 1, and here minus 4. Then reduce this 6 and minus 2 to 0 at a time. So the applications uh, transformation are what? R3 minus 6 R2 by using 1. We have to reduce this 6 and minus 2 to 0 by using this 1. So R3 minus 6, R2, 6 R2 and R4 plus 2 R2. So plus 2 and minus 2 become 0. First row as it is, second row as it is, the change in the third row. So what is the change? Minus 6 plus 6 is 0. Then minus 6 into minus, uh, minus 6 into 3 is minus 18, minus 2 becomes minus 20. Then minus 6 into 1 becomes minus 6 plus 1 becomes minus 5. And then minus 6 and minus 10 multiplication is 60 minus 8 becomes 60 minus 6. Uh, yes, minus 6 and minus 4 becomes 
uh, plus 24 minus 8 becomes minus uh, plus 40. Okay. This the minus 6 into 4 minus 4 becomes 24. And minus 24 plus 24 minus 10 becomes 40. Yes. And then the change in the last row. So the change is what? Minus plus 2, minus 2 becomes 0. And then uh, uh, 6 minus 10 become minus 4. Then uh, 2 and this minus 1 becomes plus 1. And this is minus 8. After multiplying by 2, we have minus 8. Minus 8 becomes minus 16. Then uh, reduce this minus 20 to 1. So minus 1 by 20, R4 is the that is multiply the fourth row by minus 120. So what, what do we have here? 1, then minus 5 by minus 20 becomes 1 by 4. And then uh, 14 minus 14 by 20. Okay. And then the last row as it is. Then reduce this minus 4 to 0. So in order to reduce 0, uh, use this one. By using this one, reduce this minus 4 to 0. So R4 plus. 4 R3 is the application. So 4 into 1 is uh, plus 4, minus 4 becomes 0. Then plus 4 into 1 by 4 becomes 1 plus 1 is 2. And then uh, 4 into minus 40 by 20, minus 16 becomes this number, minus uh, 94 by 4, minus 14 by minus 94 by 10, this number minus 94 by 5 this is the calculation minus 94 by 5 so what is the calculation 4 into minus 14 by 20 plus 4 into minus 14 by 20 minus 16 the calculation is this 9 minus 94 by 5 minus 94 by 5. so this is an this is the matrix in echelon form reduce this to, to one or remain as it is and this is the matrix in echelon form. So if I do reduce this one, two to one, then multiply the last row by one, uh, one and a half. Then this, this becomes uh, one and at this place we have 94 by eight, uh, 94 by 10. This is 94 by five, it is become 94 by uh, 10. So correction is here. So, and this is an echelon form. So when we say the matrix is an echelon form, if if every element of uh, each uh, if, uh, in every row, the first non-zero element is one. In every uh, row, the first non-zero element is one. We've observed the first row, the first non-zero element is one. If you observe the second row, this uh, first non-zero element is one. If you observe the third row or fourth row, then the first non-zero element are one. And this one is called leading one. And the second condition is what? The leading one of lower row is to the right of up leading row, row of uh, leading one of upper row. That is, if you observe this one of lower row, then it is not below the uh, leading one of upper row. No, it is not below the uh, leading one of upper row. It is to the right, the place one place to the right side, or two place or third three place. So, if you compare these two row, second and third then leading one of lower row is to the right of the leading one of upper row. So, and if there are zero rows, then uh, they, the row are uh, situated at the bottom of the matrix, but there is no zero row. So this is in echelon form. So rewrite the equation. So I can convert the matrix to uh, equation. So what do we have? We have U plus V plus W plus one half D is equal to minus three by two. Then uh, V, plus 3w plus uh, d is equal to minus 4. The next equation is w plus 1 by 4d is equal to minus 14 by 20. And last equation is 2 into d is equal to 9 minus 94 by 5. Okay. And then from last equation, we have d is equal to minus by after shifting this to right side minus 94 by 10. That is minus 47 by 5. And then substitute this value of D in the above equation, number three, we get the value of W as 33 by 20. 
and uh, the value of w and d substituting in equation 2 the value of w and d we get the equation uh, value of v as a 7 by 20 and all these values that is value of d value of w and value of v substituting in the equation number 1 we get the value of u okay and substitute these values in this equation this equation that is x square plus y square plus z square 2 into u v and w and d we get the equation of sphere passing through its four points so uh, the answer is uh, somewhat lengthy okay the next topic is what diameter form of the equation of sphere so we'll see this topic in the next lecture diameter form of the equation of sphere